Peter Blake from Family First, a candidate for the Eastern Metropolitan Region. So as you saw in the bio, I'm a service delivery manager with 30 years experience in IT, data networks and telecommunications. In support of Family First's goal to make Victoria the best place to raise a family, it's important during the term of the next parliament that direct action is taken to address the gambling toll on families. Family First has been addressing tolls on families most recently, you may have heard about our actions on the alcohol toll, where 40% of police time is taken addressing the alcohol problem, where 400,000 hospital beds every year are consumed by the alcohol problem. So it's important to look at how some of these tolls on the family flow over into other areas. And as a service delivery manager, I have a passionate interest in cause and effect in risk profiles and process change. It's great to hear from Colleen today on the western side. I might bring a bit of perspective on the eastern side, if that's OK. And I'll... I'll Limit. I don't have the breadth of experience across the team here in machines and limits and spins and cycles and all that kind of stuff. <laughs> so as a service delivery manager, I'll look at the scale of the problem, and in particular, like Colleen did, um, in, in the Eastern Metro. But I will, and, and as a true service delivery manager, I love my pie charts. <laughs> and I think that, that pie chart there will tell you that there's a problem straight away because the wedges of the pie are different in different parts of Victoria. Um, if we have a look, um, and if I go west a little bit for a moment, the highest take of poker machines, $134 million out of Brimbank alone, is where the unemployment rate is the highest, at 8.5%. This little tiny blue wedge here um, is the Shire of Nilambic where the local community has been quite courageous in fighting the gambling toll and the unemployment in that part of Victoria is only 2%. Now you might say, oh you're oversimplifying it, but if you go down the list and stack rank it, you can see the unemployment rate, it tells a very interesting story against the poker machine taken in those areas. If I look at uh, Eastern Metro and, and my side of town for a moment, we look at Monash, Casey, Dandenong, Knox, four top areas there. Out of the $2 billion, the gambling toll in Victoria, those four cities account for $438 million of expenditure on poker machines. The GDP of the country of Liberia is $442 million. The country of Ireland would love $438 million today. And they'll need. But let's think of this beyond the toll on the family. Let's have a look at the toll on the economy. $438 million in Eastern Metro. And because we're on Tim's turf today, I'll mention that that would be 1.3 million sponsored children for World Vision. It would be 6.7 million takeaway pizzas, 1.7 million tanks of petrol, 2.6 million haircuts, 60 million loaves of bread, or 2.3 million family trips to the movies. So what toll is this placing on our local communities? And when we look at unemployment in Brimbank at 8.5%, we look at it in Monash at 6 in, in some of these other areas on my chart, in Knox at 5, you know. Th these are areas where the unemployment rate is above the national average. So the toll on the local economy is a heavy one. Family first policy is to limit poker machines to the casino and some country racetracks. We recognise that some Victorian people do gamble responsibly and they like that. Recognise that international events, having a connection with a casino can be a tourist play card <coughs> in that area. The Family First recognises that 
in going to those venues, people are more likely to be with friends, they're more likely to be going for a specific reason, and they're more likely to have peers around them while they're there to support and protect them. State government has introduced a number of controls which largely relate to CAPS, the proximity of machines to ATMs, and whilst we welcome that, we definitely believe not enough is being done. If I'm fortunate enough to be granted a place by the Victorian people in the next parliament, I look forward to working with my colleagues to make sure that the times ahead are not ones that include gambling our future. Let's get the pokies out of the suburbs.